All right, guys, it's Tech Knight. We're back here, guys. Um, I'm going to be installing an outlet behind me. Um, pretty much grabbing power from this guy to go to our CCTV camera. So the tools we're going to need. All right, guys, we're going to start off normally here with just a regular screwdriver. Or no, I'm sorry. We can use just a normal drill. So that's where I'm going to grab that Phillips bit, that real little guy, to get into the screws. Because otherwise, if you use a different type of bit than that Phillips, or that or Phillips. I'm sorry, that flathead, um, it'll, it'll jack your screws all up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy crap, it's really on there. Holy crap, that was on there. So our wall plate's off. Now we are going to switch back to Phillips. Sorry guys, you can't really see what I'm doing. I got, well, I'm working off two cameras today, otherwise I'd have another one from my uh, general area. And there we go. Oh, what's out? So, what's the first thing I'm gonna do? I know that there's power going here because it's, uh, it's an actual outlet, you know, you can see that clicking the light on and off. So, I always put tape around my outlets, safety, so you don't accidentally touch the sides when you're uh, going to do your stuff. So this is what it looks like inside this outlet. I'm gonna kind of get you zoomed in, uh, zoomed in here. So you got a wire nut with your neutrals, and this is how code does it. Uh, and then your, your switch. So we gotta figure out which side's the power side. So we're gonna pull this tape off. I'm gonna save this tape because I don't, I don't wanna be wasteful. And I have to put a bunch of new tape on my outlet. Especially when you use Super 33, that stuff's kind of a, it's not cheap. I just stick that to that little there. All right, so now we are gonna have two different sides. So I'm gonna turn my meter to DC or DC AC voltage. I this is ground. This box is grounded back in the panel to the neutral, not in the sub panel, but in the panel. So I'm gonna touch the first one. We got 120. Touch the second one. We got nothing. So this is our load line going to the light. This is our power line coming from the panel. So this is the guy we want. So what I'm gonna do here, I don't need a double tester for this. I will double test it when I turn it off to make sure it's off. So now I know that this is a load line. Most people could tape it. You could take your knife because I made this darn tape so long right here and cut some of it just to kind of mark your wire so, you know, if you get a phone call or your wife interrupts you or you gotta feed your kid or just, you know, change the diaper or something, you remember that that's your load line. So when you go to hook this circuit up, you don't hook it up backwards. All right, give me a second, I'm gonna turn the breaker off and we should be good to go. All right. Yep, that's it now, but I'm gonna test it with my voltage meter anyways. And we're good. Come to ground. Nope. Um, all right. So we are. We now have a dead circuit. To look at. All right. So this is where you grab your screwdriver. I would say uh, when you're undoing stuff like this, use a screwdriver. I really apologize about the light, guys. I just uh, it's uh, it's kind of how it's going to be today. Load line, it's curled up right here. Cut it so it leaves, I would say about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less. Tuck this up out of your way, that's our load line. Sorry, I'm trying not to pocket tech so I can show you guys the tools, but it's not working out like I thought it would.
to preserve.
Hey guys, back at the computer here. You're going to go ahead and get a browser open. Once you got a browser open, you're going to navigate to ZoneMinder. And once you got ZoneMinder open, close some of these extra tabs, go ahead and hit Add. And then you're going to name your camera, which I'm going to name it Sonoff. Oop, misspelling it. Uh, we're going to name it Server Cam. Well, it, yeah, we don't need to know that's a cam. Uh, my storage area is going to be main storage. It's going to be whatever your storage is set up to be. Um, source type you want to keep as FFmpeg. I take modec as my uh, function. And then, of course, you're going to come over to source here. This is where you're going to go ahead and open up the cell phone and then navigate to your EWE Link app. Once the EWE Link app opens, you're going to touch or navigate to your test camera or my server camera. Go up to settings, then more settings, then RTSP. And at the very, very wee bottom, you're going to do create RTSP link. And then, of course, this is where you're going to type that RTSP link into. Of course, this is where you're uh, going to want to change this password to something more secure other than 1234. Um, I'm just doing this for test purposes, so that's why you guys see it as this right now. Uh, of course, whatever you make your password, when you click this link, it's going to change it in this link. So just be aware that you're going to have to update the link if you change the password. No, there we go. Stream forward slash ch zero av underscore stream champ options is none. Uh, target color space. We're gonna do twenty four bits, and because it's on Wi Fi and it's not directly connected via the Ethernet port on the back, we're gonna do ten eighty by ten eighty instead of ten eighty by nineteen twenty. Orientation you need to do inverted, otherwise the camera will be upside down. Uh, storage type, you're going to do whatever you like to do for these settings. I don't have anything set up. Uh, Timestamp, you're going to leave alone. Buffer, I do do custom. I do two, uh, three, six, or sorry, not five, six, five, and two. The reason you're going to want to do this is, number one, because it's on Wi-Fi. Um, number two, it just works better for this camera for some reason. Uh, from what I found messing around with it, testing it, um, you know, do, kind of doing the work for you guys. If you do hook it up with the Ethernet, you can bump this stuff up if you want to, and the camera can handle it. Also, you'll want to go back to that 32-bit uh, color spacing. And um, the last thing but not least, you're going to want to click MISC. And you're going to want to go over to default scale and you're going to want to do one half. Um, that's so in montage and when you view the camera, it's only in half its scale. If you do full scale, it'll take up the whole page and you won't be able to see other cameras. It looks odd. The scaling looks weird. At least on my 4K monitor, it looks really weird. And, you know, I got a large monitor, so I can't I can't imagine what it would look like on a 1080p monitor. Um, and your default, you can keep default rate or do... Uh, you know, you can mess with it in here. This is, uh, of course, the rate at which the camera comes in. And then hit save. And the camera should come up. And uh, it's going to be red for the, probably the first 10 seconds. Um, usually you can click on it and the camera will actually come up and it will still be red. So there we go. We now see that the camera is working. Um, I didn't set up pan, tilt, zoom features. You can still do the pan, tilt, zoom through your phone. Um if anybody gets a script for Zone Miner set up, please throw it in the comment section. And guys, thank you for watching. This is TechNet with. Hey guys, it's TechNetwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.